After 25 years on death row, Ronnie Lee Gardner has become one of America's last convicts to be executed by firing squad. Until the last, he tried to convince the courts he was a reformed man. I have changed, you know, and I've, it's not been something that just happened overnight. It wasn't a big religious experience that I've had. It was just time to grow up. In 1984, he shot dead a bartender during a robbery. Six months later, he killed an attorney as he tried to escape a courthouse. He was sentenced to death, but appeals kept him from the chamber. This week, his legal team tried and failed to make a last appeal for clemency. The board determines that the jury's verdict imposing a death sentence was not inappropriate. Gardner was hooded and strapped into a chair with a target pinned over his heart. Five anonymous marksmen were there, but only four had live rounds, ensuring they never know who delivered the fatal shot. Utah was the last state to ban execution solely by firing squad in 2004, but the law wasn't retrospective, giving Gardner the choice. His case has reignited the debate about this form of justice. We do hope that people who perhaps uh, are favorable to capital punishment uh, may, f may take a second look because of the graphic nature of the firing squad to just think a little bit about whether any method can, can uh, achieve this strange goal of humanely ending a person's life. Ronnie Lee Gardner is only the third person to be executed by firing squad in America since 1976 a fate he tried to avoid for a quarter of a century. Amy Lewis, Sky News.